been associated with GRIPS uh, since last uh, October, and uh, it's really a great pleasure to be given this opportunity to address not only GRIPS student, but faculty and also a guest uh, and diplomatic corps in Tokyo. As has been uh, kindly introduced, uh, I have been involved in human security initiative of Japan from the early outset, uh, end of 1990s. And it's really fortunate uh, because normal diplomat uh, in Japan will be transferred every three or four years and never be allowed to do one thing all the time. But in my case, of course, responsibility changed during this time uh, in Japan or outside. Uh, I have been always involved in this process. So therefore, on the basis of that experience today, I'm going to talk about human security in Japan. Uh, Japan has been main promoter of human security uh, for over uh, 13, 14 years. And uh, I'd really like to, to talk about why Japan has been so much pushing for this one. Uh, and now the situation in Japan is changing too. And up to recently, human security has been basically used as a useful concept to think about country in conflict, conflict in poverty, and then underdevelopment really to talk about uh, advanced country like Japan and others. But I think uh, now this is a very pertinent and relevant concept for Japan and other developed countries. So I'm very pleased to talk about the issue. Uh, many of you must have heard uh, human security one way or other. And you must have formed some kind of image of what it really means. This is a concept we, we proposed uh, initially uh, UNDP 1994, uh, but uh, uh, no influential state has picked it up as the main initiative until Japan took it in 1998, when the Asian financial crisis hit many countries in our region. Um, there is no universally accepted definition on human security yet. It's a relatively new concept. It's evolving. But its concept uh, proposed vis-a-vis -vis national security. I think national security is very familiar to you. Security and defense of a nation at a national level. It is the responsibility of every sovereign state to defend your country by political, diplomatic, and military means. Human security is a concept that we just post against national security, but it's not competing with national security. It's a complementing concept. If I may generally understood concept of human security, I put it here. The Human Security Initiative aims at protecting people from critical and pervasive threat, the life, livelihood, dignity of individual. I will emphasize these three elements, life, livelihood, and dignity of ev individual, means everybody. Uh, it comes from uh, many things, uh, risks and threat, uh, depending on the situation where you are. Even in the same country, people feel differently. Even the same shelter, a temporary shelter in, in, in Tohoku, not necessarily the same threat and same situation. Every individual has a different concern and preoccupation. Concept. Somebody may be suffering sickness, somebody suffering of economic uh, uncertainty, or conflicts, or violence, uh, climate change, and others. This is based on the very liberal philosophy that a human being so long as you're born as a human being, wherever you are, whoever you are, whatever family and other background you come from, entitled to live healthy, fulfilling, and dignified life, respective where she is or he or she is born. This is a very important concept that you are maybe Japanese, you may be Chinese, you may be American or others, you may be from Africa or others. We are distinct from other natural being. Human being has the right to live healthy, fulfilling, and dignified life. Uh, not only protected from insecurities, but empowered means you are allowed, you are permitted to develop your ability, potentials, to fullest expense uh, possible. That is different, distinct from other living things. I emphasize three elements of human being. Life, livelihood and dignity. And I really emphasize dignity because particularly in Japanese context, 
Dignity is a bit uh, Western concept. Um, as a Japanese translation, Songen, doesn't uh, come closer to your heart. But this is an extremely important element. First of all, of course, you must survive. Some of them may be suffering from specific diseases. Some may be living in the violent con con conflict situation. Some may be suffering from natural disasters, not only tsunami and others, but for instance, heat wave, 2003, in Western Europe, European countries, 75,000 lost lives. So it's here to everybody. Of course, this is a starting point. Every individual, every human being must survive, must be allowed to survive. But that is not enough. Example in the Tohoku area shows very clearly. If you are lucky enough to escape from tidal wave, it doesn't mean that you have a livelihood. You may be, how to call this, healthy. You may be cured from sickness. But it doesn't mean that you can live like a human being. You must be fed. You must be given water, sanitation, educated. You must have some kind of income, economic activity, and social protection. And life must be sustainable. But even this livelihood is guaranteed is not really enough. You must be secured dignity. Dignity is very close concept to human rights, but it is basically respect and confidence as yourself. As treated as human being, cultured, dignified life. And then therefore the every sense of fulfillment. How this three element must be guaranteed everybody. And up to recently, in Japan, this has been guaranteed, taken granted, so long as you're living in Japan. But now, well, since uh, six or seven months ago, I came from New York after uh, living many years abroad. I was really struck with changes. Social transformation in Japan has been taking place recently, and more so after 3 11. It's no longer this uh, secured. Um, the, if you look back history uh, very uh, briefly, there are three stages internationally. As has been told, 1994, it is kick started by UNDP Human Development Report concentrating on human security. I think uh, this background of this timing is extremely important. In other words, after Cold War structure was over, there was euphorism in the world that uh, new world order is coming. However, early 90s, 91, 92, there has been crisis in many places in the world. And it's crisis that not coming from only from conflict and the war, but also of economic and other social deprivation. So therefore, UNDP annual report 94 focused on human security. Came up with food, health, and others. As I say, this was initiated for the 2000, no, sorry, 1995 social, summit, social development summit. Regrettably, uh, this has not uh, received much attention uh, because there's no powerful country, influential country, who push this idea yet until 1998. Japan, I took it up. Uh, I need to explain you uh, this. We are very fortunate in Japan to have a uh, very compassionate uh, politician, uh, Mr. Obuchi, Keizo Obuchi, who was initially prime minister and then later on became prime minister. He took this idea and uh, in addressing uh, Asian financial crisis situation in 1998. He argued that, uh, well, this is a uh, uh, by the way, I forgot to particularly send a warm welcome to the delegation from Thailand because uh, uh, Thailand is a kind of co-partner with Japan on promoting human security from the very beginning, 1990-98, and financial crisis hit Thailand but together with the Republic of Korea and uh, Indonesia and, uh, and many other countries in Southeast Asia. At that time, uh, the Foreign Minister of Thailand, uh, Mr. Srim, who is now Secretary General of the ASEAN, uh, told me recently that uh, Prime Minister Uchi asked him, this, uh, Thailand is asked by IMF and others that you have to cut uh, the subsidy to health and uh, put the budget in house, house in order. What is going to happen health? What's going to happen health when you cut the budget on this one? What happens in the five years and 10 years time when children will not get properly education, properly, uh, how to call this, uh, health care was not given? Uh, this would affect the rest of the life of those people. 
uh, we, Mr. Obuchi mentioned that there has to be alternative approach to development. At the time of economic downturn, those social expenditures, health and education, have to be protected, social welfare and benefits. Uh, that is started with the, how do you call this, very strong Japanese uh, human security initiative. A lot of things happened uh, bilaterally and multilaterally. And as an effort to put this in practice, uh, Mr. Uchi, as Prime Minister, promised in Vietnam, in uh, the Hanoi, to create a UN Trust Fund for Human Security. It's initiated in 1999. Everything really is sincere at that, that time. The uh, Japan, Japanese government has contributed to this fund, three and a half billion dollars. Um, the, the, this, uh, how to call this, uh, uh, the effort has been all initiated, uh, led to the creation of the International Commission of Human Security, 2001. Uh, because in order to put this kind of principle, you need common understanding and also common framework of action. In order to do it, uh, one very, uh, how to call this, uh, effective way is to create very high standing international commission to ask the commission to come up with a uh, good report. However, and then, well, this is uh, chaired jointly by Mrs. Ogata, Sadako Ogata, who has been even high commissioner for refugees 10 years up to then. She was about to retire. And then she's a specialist, obviously, in conflict and refugee situation, humanitarian situation. And I was uh, the initiating on this. I thought about we need another expert on poverty and development. And Amatia Sen uh, was the right person. And he agreed kindly to chair, co-chair for two years. It was a very difficult uh, exercise. But one thing I think I would stress is that uh, this, there are so many commissions in, in, the, in, in the world. National Commission, Global Governance, Disarmament, and other things. Uh, the, there are unfortunately very few International Commission's report which has affected the world in practice sense. A uh, clear example is the Commission on the Sustainable Development, the Brundtland Commission. That was issued coincided with 1992 Rio Summit. And sustainable development was initially rejected and uh, regarded as suspicion. Development is development. Why do you say sustainable? Uh, but now it's uh, very established. Nobody's subjecting to sustainable development. I think it's going to happen the same thing in human security, although it takes a little bit more time. Um, this, uh, that is the first stage. And the report of the Commission on Human Security called Human Security Now uh, uh, was issued in May 2003, which has a far-reaching impact in the UN and many places. Uh, the, in case of Japan, uh, the JICA, uh, Japan International Cooperation Agency has amended its uh, guidelines for selecting and implementing the project. And many regional commissions like African, uh, well, the Union, OAS, and others adopted the declaration on human security based on the recommendation of Commission on Human Security. Uh, this is the first stage. The second stage is uh, 2005. Uh, this is a milestone in terms of universalizing this human security because 2005 summit of UN outcome document has included one paragraph on human security, freedom from fear and freedom from want. Broad concept on this, but very small sentence. And by the way, in this concept, uh, the so-called, uh, you may have heard, responsibility protect, was also adopted in this 2005 outcome document. But the important thing is probably question and answer time I'm very happy to, to answer to. Responsibility protect are coming from humanitarian intervention. In case of uh, uh, this uh, genocide, this ethnic cleansing, and war crimes, and the crime against humanity, this kind of very uh, serious uh, human rights violations, and Security Council is not uh, able to provide the support, uh, proper, uh, article proper support. What would you do? The international community has a dilemma in many places, 1994, Rwanda, and 1998, so the, uh, the many places in former Yugoslavia. And uh, this uh, concept of humanitarian inter intervention has been very ample.